welcome to science innovative brain so guys in previous video lecture we have learned how to draw the schematic diagram in the kitcat so in this video lecture we will convert this schematic into pcb gerber files before starting the gerber process if you are new on the channel then please subscribe and press the bell button for the notification so to make gerber file first we will allot or we will give the footprint for the each components so let us assume here j1 is the one connector input connector or ic is there inductor is there diodes are for that each and every component we have to give the proper footprint either you can download it or you can insert by using the command whatever the inbuilt is given in the kitcat library so here j1 is there you have to just double click on j1 then here if you see footprint sometime this footprints are blank so you have to choose so for the choosing just click on this part and then choose the connector because it is the connector and choose the two pin connector having the foot pitch to pitch pitch is 5.08 you can see it here this is the foot print as per the current rating you can choose it or you can download it directly from the if you are expert in the designing so here i will choose it same only and i will make okay like that each and every component we have to allow the foot print so here also we will see the capacitor so for this capacitor i chosen the diameter of 10 mm and pitch is 5 if you don't want to if you want to change it you can change it from here go to capacitor section select and capacitor through hole and choose whatever you can want but here i will choose this this part only 5 mm pitch and you make copy and for this capacitor also you can put it the same and this ic also footprint is given so like that first we will make all the footprint for the each component like that we can choose from the library through hole potentiometer and borns and we can choose the three pins this vertical connector like that each and every component i have allotted this is same whatever previous we have selected for j1 and this is the resistance this is also footprint is there capacitor same we have chosen in this file in this footprint we can allot we can put this to 2200 microfarad capacitor this diode it's it is there so all footprint we have allotted now to make the uh, gerber we have to go to the tools menu and update the pcb schematic after that one window will open this is pcb editor so here if you see there is no warning and there is no errors just update the pcb and make close and here all the files will come you can see it i will zoom it so all files footprints component footprints came here now we have to arrange all the component as per our requirement so j1 is there or previous circuitry c circuitry and it you have to arrange it so so j1 and select it and press the r so that we can rotate whatever rotation you want you can do it so like that we have to select and rotate like that we have to do it now we will arrange the component as per the schematic so first j1 is there so we will select the j1 then after that c1 so we will keep the c1 which is the c1 we will make this all one side and bring as per the requirement so this is the c1 so c1 bring it and again rotate and this is also rotate and now connect it keep it here after the c1 the ic is there so we'll keep ic 
so IC is this one so we'll put it the IC at this place and then and then diode capacitor is there so we'll put the diodes and capacitor we'll go to the diode so here the diode is this one and this diode is we will put it here and we will rotate it later then after the diode capacitor is there so this capacitor we will take it and we will rotate it as per the requirement we will rotate it so now what we'll do we will start the routing so to root we will if you want to make in single layer then we can make single so before that you choose the copper layer so copper layer here it is the F means front so we go for the bottom layer so we will make it bottom and then we will go to the here root tracks we will select the root track here it is bottom and root track we have selected the root track and then we will start connections so connect it this point here and then connect this point here connect this and then make from here to this part we will connect first all the connection then we'll check so this part we will connect it and from here we will take from through the diode and then we can connect the pot and then this part we'll take from here so we can connect it this part and then this part we will connect and then from here to this like that we will connect all those things so i think all over now this part we can't connect and this part also we can't get because it is coming clash over it is cross connection is happening so for that we will add some extra footprint we'll go to the footprint library and here we'll search wire or holes hole so or you select test point best test point so in single test point we will choose we'll check it which one is the single test point yes so this but it's whole dia is one so if you want to reduce the whole dia that also we can increase or decrease so this we will choose point one we will choose this one point seven one we'll choose this is the right or how this one this is look like this so we will choose this part and then we will place we can place it over now we will adjust because this footprint is coming uh, top to top because this we want to make from the top side whatever we have given the holes here this wires tp test points so that we can make the connection from the top side we don't want to make a second layer so we will make small gaps placing the proper components placement we will do it huh, yeah so this is now over so we will go to again select the bottom and connect it this point to this point from this point to this point you connect it and then from again select take from here to this point connect double click it
so how to check whether this is perfect or not go to the view and go to the 3d view in 3d view you can see it the how the connections and how the component placements are there so whatever the this tps you can see it here this tps we have to from the short link we have to put it we have to take one wire and we have to short it this we have to take the wire and we have to short it like that we have to do it because we are making a single side board so this is the input connector and the, this is the output connector and this is the diode this is the your ic so board will like this look like this manner whenever we will make it now we will make a edge cut so for the edge cut because we have to define the size of the board so we will select here edge cut so here if you see the edge cut is there just click it here so it will select it here edge cut and draw the one nice rectangular so that the size of the board we can define it this is the size of the board we want or i will make it here little bit more we will adjust the component properly so that we can make system proper so now we will give here mounting holes also so that uh, we can mount this board so for that we'll go to again add footprint here we'll put mount hole mounting holes so in the mounting holes you can select the <coughs> dia of holes m2 or m3 whatever you want you can select it here so 2.5 so you can give the 2.5 also so select it here from 2.5 because this is very small board and then put it here one then another one another one then one more we will copy paste the best so what happen we will remove in make invisible this part the reference also will make invisible because we don't want these things there is no footprint something we required just copy paste control c and control v control v control c oh, it is there control v you have to make it so all we have placed now this connector is little bit slight is there so what we will do we will shift this connector so that it become easy so this we will delete delete and then again bottom copper select and connect it so that we will get the proper gaps so now it is connected this deleted so this are the happen and if you want to track with size increment then here you just click it and whatever the track with size you want you can select it whatever the current let us assume we, we will make 1 mm track width so we'll make it 1 mm so here change the net yes change it so like that we can draw the all the connections to the thicker type and then save it and again see in the 3d view so in the 3d view you can see it here all the 
poles are given. And our PCB is made. Uh, we will make a uh, Gerber file. So for that, go to the file menu and fabrication out. And here, Gerber, click on the Gerber. After clicking the Gerber, this because this bottom is not there, so you can remove this bottom and rest. You can uh, uh, leave it. Sorry, bottom is there, front is not there, so you can leave it. But here. You keep it the front also. There is no issue. And just plot. Select this values default and plot it. And and the file where it is saved, it will show it to you on this place. And after the plot, you place the generate drill holes. So click it and then you select it here and then Gerber this file. Whatever default value is showing here that you select and after that generate the drill files. So here you will see the drill file also generated. So just click on take this one part. PTH file and non uh, PTH file will come. For this, this is for the drill holes. So this in this manner Gerber file is generated. You can make it the PC, uh, PDF file. So you can go to the place the PDF and plot it. So it will plot the PDF file also for the all the sections. So we'll go to the that menu and we'll check whether this is all are generated. So in this same folder, it was generated all the files and this all are uh, whatever the Gerber is showing and PDF is showing that all of the Gerber files and PDF files are are here only. So if you see the silk board, you can see the board. And then bottom uh, bottom layer for the bottom layer, you can see this one part. This is the bottom traces. I will open the Gerber files and we will see it. So for that, we'll copy this path. And open the KitKat here. And the KitKat Gerber view is there. Just click on the Gerber view. And open the file Gerber plots. And then these are the same path where we have seen. This is the or we have the files here. You select it here. All the Gerber files showing. Just select all. Keep Gerber lift and then open. After that, you can see all Gerber files. Whatever we have made, all are came to this place. Whatever layer you want, you can remove and check it. So in this manner, we can make a Gerber file from the schematic. I hope you will like this video lecture. Please like it, share it and enjoy it. Thank you. Bye bye.